You're watching Friday Night Beyond the Lights on WUTR. Utica Comets season opener is this Sunday. The roster was announced yesterday, and today the team added another player to it. The New Jersey Devils have activated forward Tice Thompson from the injured reserve, and they've assigned him to Utica. And Comets general manager Dan McKinnon says that he will be evaluating the play of the New Jersey Devils in their season opener, which was tonight a overtime win. And over the next few days that he can make the tough decisions about who else would need to be sent to the AHL once the other three players on the injured reserve are activated. And when looking at the Comets roster, McKinnon says that Comets fans this year can expect a pretty well-rounded team. We feel we've got a group down there that, that does blend um, young NHL prospects, but also some HL veteran type guys that are there for a reason you know character obviously you're able to play and be productive at that level but that was a priority for us to blend the two together um this sort of youth that we have coming on the heels of having all these high draft picks over the last several years and then you know older guys that know how to conduct themselves the right way on and off the ice and uh, i think we're going to have a winning product down there uh, but i also think we're going to have a great group of uh, of people in that locker room they're going to help our, uh, our younger players develop and mentioned Colton White as a player who is in New Jersey's starting lineup tonight and did play, who might actually later be a leader here in Utica. He also says goalie Scott Wedgwood would likely spend time in Utica once Mackenzie Blackwood, the starting goalie for the Devils, is healthy. The Comets season opener is this Sunday at home, 3 p.m. against Rochester. So after the break, it's the moment you've been waiting for all week. We'll reveal this week's Eyewitness Sports Athlete of the Week. That's next.